Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another vehicle customization review and showcase on the Canis Camacho, the fastest off-road vehicle in the off-road category class. So I'm going to go ahead and order it right now for $345,000 and I'm going to enter my vehicle workshop in my arena to showcase the customization options. So armor and brake upgrade pretty standard and here we go into the individual unique options. We have lots of different front bumpers, um, bull bars, stock ram bar. So there's um, a bull bar, a bull bar 2, and a ram bar. And uh, I think I like the look of the um, bull bar 2. I'm going to shuffle through all of them again, but um, yeah, I like the bull bar a little better than the bull bar 2 because it's got those arches over the front headlights and the fenders and um, I think that will give it just a little extra protection for your headlights if you end up crashing into a wall it won't bust your headlights so that's good to have um, and we've got rear bumper options here there's a lot of different ones there's cages over the rear tail lights that you can get but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the same style that I got on the front and um, $33,500 upgrade for the engine upgrade and we've got uh, different exhaust options here there's a twin stealth side pipe exhaust and twin matted exhaust that's kinda cool it kinda comes out the side like a big rig there and we've got MK2 tubular doors that's a neat name tubular and uh, that will also remove the livery from the side of the vehicle though so keep that in mind and I'm gonna keep the stock grill because it says Canis on it like that which is neat and let's shuffle through the different hood options side vented carbon side vented guarded side vented hood vented hood carbon vented hood and then a utility hood and that's the one I'm gonna get because it has the axe and the shovel on it it's kinda neat looking it makes it look kinda like a military jeep um, gonna put the truck horn on this of course because it's a big truck and uh, probably gonna go with orange headlights to match the paint job on here and um, undercarriage lighting orange as well the Camacho is strongly based on the Jeep Crew Chief 715 concept which is itself an homage to the Kaiser Jeep M715 Notable differences include the headlight setup of round and rectangular headlamps rather than the Crew Chief's double round headlamps, as well as a minor change on the lower lamps to feature yellow and white lights. The rear end features a dual tail light setup of red and yellow as well as white lights on the bumper opposed to the characteristic Jeep single light setup of red and white. The Camacho features a soft top similar to the Mesa and the Crusader, as well as a floodlight bar similar to the Riata and the Barrage. As expected from a vehicle of its type, sump guards are visible in both ends of the underside and static winches on the bumpers. The vehicle has basic color combinations where the primary one is applied to the general bodywork and the secondary one on the fenders and bumpers. The engine's cam covers are also painted with the primary color. The Camacho is an adept off-roader with high-end torque and ground clearance, giving it immense capability off-road. It is capable of tackling even the roughest terrain, with 50-50 torque distribution giving it an advantage on uneven terrain. Durability is good and can be further improved with the addition of bull bars. While it is not as fast as the Riata in terms of top speed and acceleration, its handling is good and does not suffer from high fishtailing. Its steering is relatively heavy due to its weight and length, though it can still manage turns easily. The vehicle is powered by a single cam V8 engine with two air filters on it, powering all four wheels. Camacho is derived from Jeep Honcho. There is a livery at Los Santos Customs to make it look like this counterpart. The Jeep Crew Chief 715, which the Camacho is based on, is the successor to the Jeep Kaiser M715, the real-life counterpart of the Bodhi. This means that the Camacho is technically the successor of the Bodhi. Some funny bugs and glitches about this vehicle. The Camacho's roof light doesn't appear to be symmetrical. The light itself appears to be split in half, with one half of the light being slightly dimmer and lower in texture and quality. When the Camacho has the tubular doors equipped, removing one either via collision or forced removal results in turning it into a stock door. The optional tubular doors share a hitbox with the stock doors. 
There is a spelling error in the vehicle's name in the advertisement card when loading into online, incorrectly calling it the Comancho. Notice the N. When the car is sent to a car wash, it suddenly gets stuck by the side rollers and being pushed to a side until the cinematic camera ends. Somewhere in the history of the 4x4, America lost its way. The seats got too comfy, the suspension got too forgiving, the stylings got too polished. The Camacho is a lifeline thrown across 50 years of compromise, taking you right back to a time when a good 4x4 was used for crossing a desert, not making a school run. And the wheel options for customization include only the regular Los Santos rims. They can't Benny's rims can't be applied. Um, so I'm probably going to choose this Amazon off-road wheel, and um, of course make the wheels match my livery. Probably going to be uh, red or white or blue. And uh, because to fit with the red, white, and blue livery I have painted on this Camacho. Uh, of course, with the custom tires. And I'm uh, going to go ahead and go with uh, blue tire smoke because I got red wheels. And it's going to be fit in with the red, white, and blue theme. And that looks pretty good. I I'm, think I'm happy with that, with the way that those Amazon off-road wheels look, and I'm gonna add the limo window tinting as well. Um, now let's just shuffle through, now that I've got my library on here, what the different bumper options do look like um, with, uh, with your library now that it's all completed. And I think I'm gonna leave the front bumper the same for now, and I might change the doors, but let's shuffle through the rear bumper options again now that this is done. I like the way it looks in white. Um, I also like the way the bull bars in the back of the bed look in red. Um, but for the doors, uh, since you can't see the livery, it just cuts off the edge of that. Um, livery. I'm going to probably add the custom doors so I can have the uh, the Patriot livery on there all the way. To, to, to have the original doors um, will make it so you can see that Patriot beer livery much better with the two pistols, and that's cool looking. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, even though the tubular tubular doors look pretty cool. Um, you can't read the livery with it like that so uh, you also can't read the livery on the front with the utility hood so I'm gonna change that also and um, there you go never refuse a Patriot I like uh, the way this livery looks with the drink US bumper sticker on it that's pretty funny and I'm gonna put the um, change the color of those bars I think I might make them chrome that looks pretty good it looks more realistic because they would probably be chrome in real life um, and I think that just about completes all the modification and customization options to upgrade this vehicle and uh, as I said before in the review, it's one of the fastest vehicles in the off-road vehicle class, so uh, it's going to be a must-have if you're racing. I'm going to change those wheel color over to white, though, because I think that looks a little more realistic. And um, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see what's happening in Grand Theft Auto V on a daily basis, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a good day. Peace out.